Greetings, everyone. This is Comedic Arts, Comedic Yoga and Reiki. Um, gonna get ready to do a yoga 12 uh, days of, well, 12 sessions, classes of yoga for six weeks on Saturday and Sunday at 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, starting April the 4th through May the 3rd. Registration, pre-registration is now and it stops on April the 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Okay, it is $150 for six weeks, 12 yoga classes. That's on Saturday and Sunday. Every morning you get to wake up and do Zoom in on yoga with me. Okay, so uh, need you to get your payments in. My uh, payment stuff is below for you. Make sure you send me an email uh, once you pay so I can send you, have the email to send you back the Zoom ID, okay, and things for you to Zoom in on uh, April the 4th at 7 a.m. This is Central Time because I'm in Dallas, Texas, okay? I'm in the DFW area, so we'll be going off of Texas time, so make sure you put that in whatever time you need to put it to wake yourself up in time so you don't miss it, okay? But either way, you'll still get an email of the uh, the login information from me, okay? Um, KimArts2020 at gmail.com will be the email, okay? So this morning, we're gonna do a uh, pose of a SAR, Pose of men, pose of shell cat. I'm just breaking it up into sections to give y'all a little rundown. We did the basic sun salutation the other day. I may do a separate video if I don't have time to do it in this one. Uh, we got the sun today. That's what I was wanting because I love to do it facing the sun. And when you're in the park and you can do it facing the sun, oh my goodness, talk about rejuvenation. I used to do yoga at the park. Uh, I do children's yoga. Um, as well as adult yoga. So uh, you can check my videos out below, start getting warmed up in practice. Uh, we got a few more days left to go before April the 4th. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, I am expecting you guys to be in there at my class, okay? Um, and we're gonna learn breathing, meditation. It's no rush, no, no fast pace. I've been an instructor since uh, September 2017. So I'm a beginner as well. So we're going to be learning together, okay, on comedic yoga, okay, and how to become one with our breath, okay. I think I got too much sun. I don't want it to look like y'all can't see me. I think that's better, right? Is that, do I need a light? I don't know if that's going to help. Hold on a second. Let me see. I don't know if all this light, it was a good angle yesterday because it was, uh, is that better? Okay, no, that may be better. That may be a little better. I did cut a little, couple of lights on so that way we can, uh, we can do it, you know, everything. And we'll start off with our breathing, of course, when we get ready to start. And that takes about the first 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm gonna just go into a couple of poses here to give you guys a little brief uh, thing. So I may turn, depending on how I see in the camera, so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, with the pose of men and pose of a star, I'm gonna step back so that way you'll be able to, yeah, you'll be able to see my hands when they go up, if I have to put them up. So you're gonna start off in the Haru position. And in the Haru position, the two big toes touch, slight opening, like in a pyramid at the back of the heels. The, the back of the heels, are, our feet are not like this in Kometic Yoga when we start off in Haru position. They're like this, with a little slight opening back there at the heel, making a pyramid like that, okay? You wanna keep the connection, make sure you're grounded, your feet are planted on your mat, okay? Uh, you can feel your toes, you can feel your, your heels. So sometimes you may see me kinda, I do this little rocking thing, cause I'm trying to make sure I plant them toes, plant that feet, fall into the middle of that space, that arch, right? So it kind of helps you kind of get that balance. Like I feel my toes, 
I feel my, my feet, my uh, heels. So now I'm going to rest in that space where that arch is and you're, you're grounded, you're planted, okay? So Haru position is almost like a tension in the army, right? We call that Haru in Kemetic Yoga, okay? So Haru position. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop my neck because that's just a habit to kind of, you know, we just woke up. Apparently, some of us, some of us may still be in the bed by the time I post this. I don't know. But Haru position. Rotate those shoulders out. All right? And the palms, right? And we're going to just come up for a little bit into Tekken. Lengthening the diaphragm, the stomach. I'm going to just take a couple of breaths here. Get this stretchy in, right? Palm center. It's like the prayer pose for other yogas. I think that's what they call this one, the prayer pose. We call it palm center, okay? But you can call it prayer pose if you want to. And now we're going to go into the pose of Asar. We're going to put those fingertips together. Slide up left over right into pyramid uh, thumbs, making a little pyramid with your thumbs. Left hand is always over the right hand, okay? Uh, now you're going to inhale to center. Just twist the upper half of the body, right? Your feet are still going this way, and you're just rotating the top torso part, and that's hard. If you're kind of weak like me in the abdomen, it takes a minute. Um, three children, <laughs> you know, you're probably going to be a little weak if you haven't been doing Kegel exercises or using yoni eggs like I use, you know, from time to time. Uh, if I'm doing spiritual work with myself, um, it's still kind of weak because we're, we're getting older. So we need to get things toned up and get our core strength back in our abdomen. So feet are still pyramid position. And when you go in, inhale, center. You're just twisting the upper body. So don't worry about if you don't feel like you're perfectly aligned yet. Over time of doing it, you will, that resistance of uh, energy will kind of give away and you'll be, you know, in, in, in the alignment that you want to be in. So you're looking straight ahead because you're turning to the middle, right? Just turning, twisting to the middle of the side. Find a focal point like a knob, a light switch, a TV or whatever. And you're going to, you know, gaze there. So then you're going to go exhale, gaze forward. And the chin should align with the shoulder here, looking that way and find you a fixed area, right? To, to kind of gaze and breathe and focus. Inhale, center, back to the center, right? Exhale, gaze behind you to the left. Your chin is aligned with your shoulder. Right? Then we're going to go inhale back to center. Exhale. Back forward. Right? Now we're going to do the opposite side because remember in Kometic Yoga, we, we are balanced beings. We do balanced things on both sides of the body. Okay? So always remember what you do on one side of the body, you're going to come back and do on the other side of the body. Okay? That's balance. So inhale, center, exhale, gaze forward, chin aligned with shoulders, inhale, center, exhale, gaze behind you, chin aligned with shoulders, inhale, center, exhale, back forward, pose the shell cat, we're going to take, we're going to do a little stoop like this, take the arms, and spread the arms to lightly bent elbows. This is the pose of Shelket, okay? S-E-L-K-E-T. I don't think it's an H in it. K-E-T. You can Google it and you'll see her, you'll see the figurine that stands like this. That's Shelket. So this is the pose of Shelket, okay? Take a couple of breaths here, two or three breaths. In through your nostril. You can do out through your mouth. 
you know, put that tongue at the, and I'll teach y'all breathing when we start, okay? And then relax, slowly release the hands. You know, we don't never want to just and throw our energy away. We want to keep our energy around us so everything is very kind of gradually done. We're not really trying to really throw our energy and scatter our energy everywhere, except for when the pose of shell cat. You're just what you're doing is you're breathing up. You're 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 rising the energy, right? But when you come back down in the pose of shell cat, it's controlled. So you still have control of your energy. Our energy is not just jumping and scattering and bouncing all over the place. We're trying to keep it right here where we want it, right? <clears throat> and then we release it. Now, I'm going to do the pose of men uh, separately from the pose of Asar. But I'm going to have to probably, I'll turn this way when I get ready to do it. I think y'all will be able to see it. Because if I go back that way, you won't be able to see it. <clears throat> so with the pose of a SAR, let me turn to the side, that'll probably be better. Still pyramid toes, Haru position, palms at the side, right? Rotate those shoulders out. Let's come up. We're gonna add Tekken again. Palm center. And we're gonna do left over right, slide those fingers in. Now, now it starts off like pose of a SAR. But when I get ready to turn, you're going to see my, my arms go up. And then you'll see what pose of men is. So inhale, center. The right hand goes on the chest. And the left hand comes up in a right angle. And this is pose of a pose of men. M-I-N, okay? The only difference with a SAR, you didn't raise that. You didn't raise this. And this didn't touch you. At pose of a SAR, you're not touching your chest. With pose of men, the hand comes over the chest and the hand up in the right angle. So then you go, so inhale, center, find that fixed area, right? And the hand should be slightly above the head or right, right up there by the head in a right angle, right? And exhale, gaze forward, chin aligned with shoulders, right? Inhale, center, exhale, gaze behind you, okay? Inhale, center, exhale, come back, back to the middle, right? So then when you come back, you're standing like this. Then you put that left back over the right, okay? And now we're gonna do the other side. So your hands are out. So then I'm gonna turn just for y'all. Y'all can stay facing. Then you're gonna, you're gonna do this right side. So inhale, rotate, right? Left hand goes over chest and the right hand goes up, right? So inhale, center. Oh, well, that was the center, I'm sorry. Inhale, the center, right? Exhale, gaze forward, chin aligned with your uh, shoulder here, right? Inhale, center, exhale, gaze behind you, right? Inhale, center, exhale, gaze, you know, rotate forward. So when you rotate forward, you're like this. So now left over right, remember? Left is always over the right, okay? And now pose of shell cat, we're gonna do a little bend, and then we're gonna spread the energy to lightly bend elbows. And you should feel the energy in the palm of your hand. You're actually feeling your aura, your energy. Okay. Take a couple of breaths, two or three breaths here. And release the energy. All right. Now see, you can feel your own energy and then ground, right? And then we're gonna, we're gonna shake that out twist that out or however you want to call it, kind of like, you know, get everything back right, okay, in case you might have locked up. <laughs> so that was uh, uh, what we'll incorporate also 
uh, within the practice of comedic yoga. These are the, the basics of what I learned uh, when I took it, you know, almost three years ago. Um, and like I said, uh, I'm just expecting a lot of turnout. I'm expecting a great, great turnout, a great class. We're gonna have fun. Uh, you know, we're gonna uh, tone and shape, you know, and I'm telling you in a matter of days, you guys will, you will be, you know, that day you're going to feel great, but in a matter of days, you're actually, if you're doing it right and you're listening and you're concentrating, you're going to feel the effects if it's done right. I was feeling them before the nine days of training was over. My whole body had took a transformation and I was like, whoa, I mean, I have the pictures and everything to prove it, you know, but, uh, it was like amazing and it felt amazing. So, you know, get your mats ready, bring your own mat, right? B-Y-O-M, bring that ball of water and bring that towel. Don't do yoga in socks because that's dangerous. You might slide on your mat, okay? I don't like the mats at Walmart, the cheap mats, because they tend to be slippery. You may have to use a towel, I don't know. Um, if you go to Lululemon, you can get the instructor mat. That's what I have here because my instructor had it and I, it didn't hurt my knees because it had some padding. I think it's like six, six mm or something like that, six or eight, whatever it is. But it's thicker and it's made out of uh, tire rubber. So you, you have a little cushion. And when you're doing things on your knees, if you're just starting yoga like me, that stuff was hurting. I was getting dark spots on my knees. My ankles was hurting. You know, the top of my feet was hurting because I wasn't used to the pressure of my own weight on those bones and around those, the knees. But when I went and bought this before I got out of training, I was like, oh, this is heaven sent. This is the best mat ever, you know, from Lululemon. Uh, I need to get me a couple of more and I got blue because blue is my favorite color. So you'll see me, you, you'll see blue, you know, pretty much, you know, on me or where, wherever I go at, in my videos, I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, right? It's like that blue black, baby. You know, I love that blue black. Okay. So this is my favorite color and I wanted it to stand out because this is my mat, baby. Okay. <laughs> so I'm excited. Uh, thank you guys for this little lesson this morning. Let me see what I got left. Oh, wait a minute. That's only 17 minutes? Wow, okay. I don't know if I got time to do another one uh, before this thing cut off. Uh, I don't know if I wanna do one or end it. I think I'm gonna end it, but thank you guys for watching. I'll load this one and then I may come back and do another one. Uh, you know, oh, well, well, we can't do the sesh. Let's just do the sesh. That's easier. So we would always end, before we lay back down in the mummy pose, everything, you, you're gonna kinda get this in. So remember this from the uh, video I posted the other day, you know, the sesh two and the sesh one, right? So you're gonna have your toes bent. Those are reflexology, you know, points on your, on your toes that open up your head and your sinuses. So this is a good, you know, keep that clarity and focus in the mind, okay? So sit on those toes, you know, sometimes. And if you're like, if you were like me, when I started out, excuse me, I'm moving all that gas and just burping. Oh Lord, I'm so gassy. That's a shame. I gotta stop eating for about a week, you know, while we in this house doing this stuff here, you know, and just drink water and, and eat fruit. But uh, uh, why, you know, when you're in the house, just do this and you'll get used to it. But if you were like me when I started out, I used to go like this every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> because it would be it would be hurting right and i'd be like oh god wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> you didn't know how, how out of shape you really were until you did comedic yoga and you're like wait i thought oh my god we take walking for granted believe me when you do yoga you're going to find out how much you took walking for granted even you know so sit up like this hands on the thighs and sit as long as you can Open up those sinuses, open up that head, get that, that reflexology going, baby. You know, Chinese medicine here, or whatever you want to call it. They love that acupuncture, acupressure, right? Take your breaths, okay? If you need to come back up, just to kind of get 
move those toes and stuff around, you can, and go back down. And the longer you practice this, you know, this is like a prayer pose. A lot of Muslims and a lot of, you know, people do things on the ground or, or on their knees. And this is actually, we have uh, figurines. I got a book in there with this this pose, actually. Uh, I got to find it. It's in, I think it's in one of my, my King Tut books or something uh, where they're doing this, right? So then that's session two. So session one would be to be on the dorsum part of the foot. This this top part of the foot in nursing, we call that the dorsum Okay, so now you're going to sit on that. And these are like little prayer poses. You can meditate like this. You can sit like this, you know, right? Do those breath, hands on the thighs. And sit there. These, the, the poses do something for you. They not only teach you, uh, they're not only hitting the pressure points, they're teaching you to focus and to concentrate and to meditate. So you can meditate in these poses, you know, if you want, uh, you know, to, till you get used to them, doing them whenever it hits you to do it, or you got a cold or congestion in your, you know, sinuses and stuff, then you can do this pose, okay? In Kemetic Yoga, what I kind of put together is a lot of prep, we're doing a lot of uh, reflexology, you know, with it as well, especially when we go into the pyramid, you have those same pressure points that's in the toes, we have them in the hands. And y'all can Google pictures of reflexology and see what parts of the organs are in the hands or in the feet, and then you'll understand. So even when you have sciatica problems, you can sit there and you can rub your feet in certain, or sinuses, you can rub your toes, like when you get a massage, that's why they're always popping. They're like, they do this with our hands and do that little, all of that and, you know, or with our feet, they doing stuff because it, it's, it's leading to certain organs and systems in the body, right? And as a massage therapist, they know that. So they're opening and breaking up that stagnant energy, right? That resistance that we got that's causing the, the knots and the, the tension and they're trying to hit all those pressure, those pressure areas and stuff. That's why I love going to Chinese people for massages because boy, they give a good dang on massage. Ooh, I, I used to say I need to give me a China man because my China man can get, ooh, he can get down with that elbow, boy. Ooh, I love to go to the mall and get me a massage. You know, I was like, that's gonna be my husband. They keep it up. I'm gonna be like, come on, every day, <laughs> put you to work for real. <laughs> That's my little joke. <laughs> but uh, everybody know I've always said that. <laughs> oh, I just left China Man from getting me a massage. It feel good. And they be rolling across them knots in your shoulder. I got knots in my shoulder right now. I need to go up there right now. But they got the day on mall clothes down probably. You know, probably letting 10 people in there at a goddamn time. You know, shit. Talk about home alone, right? <laughs> they in a whole big old mall, 10 people. <laughs> I'm just playing y'all, I'm making fun, you know, just having a little humor here. But, uh, you know, that's why you, you know, study the pressure points because then you'll understand. And then you can do, remember we did this the other day too, left foot, left foot first, right? You can either start off with just folding it in front of the other one and you can kind of lean toward the other one, right? To get it to kind of loosen up. This leg, even though I'm right, right sided, this one is not as low as this one. You know, sometimes, like I said, I cross it and get it, get that joint, that stiffness out of that joint and get it to kind of loosen up. I'll put the elbow on it and you can feel it. Oh Lord, can you feel it? You can feel it all up in there and in that, in that back under that uh, buttocks. Oh Lord. And that thigh right here, you can feel that tension, that energy, that resistance, right? Uh, you want to be fluid. And that's the goal. That's, to me, you want to be balanced. You want to be fluid. Uh, you want to be transparent, like your breath. You know, if we think about breath, we don't see it. We hear it, but we don't see it. When we go outside, we, we feel air. We, we can breathe, but we, we don't see it, okay? So you wanna be transparent. You want to be clear. 
you want to be energetic, right? You want those energy levels up, right? That creates that that aura, that that uh, energy bubble around you, and that's what you're that's what you're reaching for, you know. So it's like I said the other day, it's a it's a journey. It's not a race, and it's not that you might do this pose better than me. I might do the pyramid better than you. So you can't compare yourself because people are flexible in their bodies at, you know, different intervals or different levels. It just depends on where that, where that person's uh, flexibility is, right? We don't know. And it's not really a major concern. It, you just focus on you, focus on you getting the energy to move. When you breathe, you know, when you see that resistance, you, in using your mind, when you exhale, you send that energy down to that spot, down to that resistance. If it's in the knee, if it's in the thigh, if it's in the hamstring, use your mind to channel that energy. When you breathe in and you exhale, you use the mind to push the energy into that or focus the energy into that direction. And when you're relaxing, when you exhale, you'll give a little bit more. Not rushing it, only stay into your limit until you're ready. But when you, re when you exhale, you relax into the pose and you'll go a little bit further every time, you know, when you're, when you're focusing that energy to that area, okay? So it's always you wanna come up, right? And you, when you're coming down, exhaling with the energy, you want to move the energy and and you want to notice where it's resistance at, where it's not bending at, where you're not flexible at, okay? And those are the areas that you know is, is tension, right? When you can use, it, use that word, that there's tension there, that there's a limitation there. And the thing is to have no limitations. You know, I ain't saying acrobat and all that. Uh, gymnastic stuff because this is that's not this you know but in a sense you want the flexibility you want to be able to be pliable <laughs> right we say bending energy right so we want to be able to bend energy to manipulate our energy right our own energy not somebody else's we we're we're mastering manipulating our sphere, our energy, right? Our transforming our matter, our own matter. So that's what you got to learn. You, you're learning to bend energy into your favor, right? So the more you practice, the better you get. You know, I just encourage everyone to stick with it. It is an absolutely great journey. And, you know, I've learned a lot about myself, uh, you know, uh, in, comet, in comedic yoga, you know, using, you know, you know the different techniques and stuff and when you're anxious you can always go back to breathing you can always go back to uh you know focusing on your breath your divine shoe s h u your chi your prana your life force right you know you can always go back there and focus on that breath you know that breath of life you know in your body and that right there alone you know is something to be grateful for is something to be thankful for and it's it'll get everything else off your mind you won't think if you learn to meditate and focus on your breath whew, you know give yourself you know 20 21 deep breaths in the morning or 21 deep breaths in the evening just and that's like a matter of minutes that's probably not even five minutes I don't think you know put on some little nice relaxing rain drop music you know and just sit there and just give yourself some breaths get some oxygen up there to that brain you know and and just let everything melt away and and don't worry about anything you know and that's what we need to you know really really be focusing on is being oneness with our breath you know movement with our breath you know not trying to get ahead of our breath you know, but staying in secrecy, you know, with our breath at all times, you know, that's why they say calm is a superpower because God dang it, it is. And just like I say, discipline is a superpower because God dang it, it is because you got so much stuff coming at you at any given day.
that it really takes discipline and focus in your in yourself for you not to be going you know going over here because she said it doing this because she asked going over here because they asked or because they're doing it that takes discipline to not want to be a part of every freaking thing that's going on so once we learn breath and we learn discipline and we learn calm who this world will be off the freaking chain you're talking about everybody will be in peace oh i can see it now everybody will have peace okay so that's all I want to introduce y'all to today and, and let y'all feel the peace that comedic yoga, uh, you know, brings into your life. You know, thanks to Master Yusir Rahatop, you know, uh, the uh, the yoga skills method um, school of uh, comedic yoga. So, you know, him and Dr. Asar Happy brought this to us probably over 40 years ago. They've been doing it and practicing and going around the world, you know, and teaching everybody. And I had the opportunity to talk to him. I hadn't met him in person yet. You know, um, I was trained by Jill Milliard now in Houston, uh, Texas, at Yoga House Houston. Um, for nine days, I was down there in 2017. Uh, so thanks and big kudos to them, you know, for bringing that to our community, especially the African community, because, you know, this is our yoga and we need to embrace it. And we need to be happy because yoga really, really started with us before it took on all those other names, you know. And if you ever take the training course, you'll see that in the 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 um, the training manual as a teacher, the, the, the certificate, the training manual for it. So, uh, you guys, I look forward to having you in my class. We're going to learn and grow together. This is not a competition. This is a spiritual journey that we are going to take to together okay together you know i may even pull out the manual and do some reading you know uh we're gonna learn and i mean because it's gonna be ongoing so this is just to get us used to it but i may do breathing we may focus on breathing one one session i'm going to break it down because i want to teach y'all i'm a reiki master too so i want to teach y'all as i go along things that you know for reiki that you can learn and incorporate also with uh, comedic yoga. So I do certify, if you want Reiki 1, 2, Reiki Master, uh, I'll be doing that as well. If you want to take you know, that under comedic arts, you, you're, you know, you're welcome to do that as well. I haven't listed in any of my things no more than the long distance Reiki because I want people to see, you know, to try it first, you know, <clears throat> and make sure it's something that they want to do because it's a very serious work. You work on self-healing yourself. You can work on self-healing your family, you know, you know, uh, doing with doing the Reiki and, and really, really, really engulfing and understanding what energy is truly about, okay? Uh, and like I said, that is my motto on my YouTube channel. You go to that banner and that is my logo and model up there that says energy is truly everything and it truly is everything and uh and it's in everything right and it has many forms right and it takes on many shapes many attributes many characteristics okay you cannot get away from energy energy cannot be destroyed and energy cannot be 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 created energy just is and when you understand energy just is you have you have learned so many lessons in that alone that you is gonna blow your mind. So I look forward to having you guys. Thanks for this little uh, lesson uh, today, this little class session. Um, I hope you guys, you know, find the videos down below, pass my tarot readings and stuff, and look at the, the yoga videos that I have already put out there. And when the days when we're not doing it on Saturday and Sunday, Grab one of those and practice. I'm, I'm, you know, you can hear me speak or you can see me do it from different angles. You'll see me having my class that I had back then um, that I was doing a class. I had a few students uh, come through. <clears throat> and so I'm excited to be back online. Uh, I truly am. And thank you all for the love and support, for the emails, for the donations, uh, just for the commenting on the videos all across the board. And I'm, I am so glad to be here to, you know, you know, share this journey with you guys and to share my journey with you guys. 
because you know you don't have to open up to anybody but you choose to and that is that says a lot about people caring about uh their overall health and caring about other people and like i said i'm a nurse of going on 24 years so i've been in the health industry my whole life has been you know since i was 23 has been about humanity and helping humanity and taking care of human beings and, and, and evolving you know no matter across the board no matter what color you are okay and that's what this is about so advanced yogis are welcome intermediate yogis you know beginners are certainly welcome you know to come through and learn comedic yoga you know that they can incorporate in their practices and stuff like that because it's all about education and it's all about being oneness with breath you know with our divine shoe okay because we are nothing without our breath okay we are nothing we are we are not even here baby without that breath so we need to respect that breath okay that breath of life okay wherever we go in each other whatever we need to respect the breath of life okay uh well thank you i'm gonna say hotel i'm in rock ta my yacht okay Assalamu alaikum, uh, shalom, what did I say? Alafia to my Yoruba family. Uh, uh, what else? What's my other greeting? I said shalom. Oh, I'm in Ra and that's Shay, right? So for our church family that's wanting to get into comedic yoga, we need to get y'all to put that Ra back on our man, okay? I'm going to need y'all to put that Ra back on there, baby, because that Ra connects you to the Ra up there. So, not no longer amen please say amen ra okay because that's his name okay <laughs> and ashe y'all know what that is same thing as amen ra right let it be so it may it be so and amen and let it be and it is as i say and all that good stuff right uh however y'all want to word it okay so be it that's what it means so be it be it as is so okay i can go on okay with that <laughs> Because I'm a writer. <laughs> so I have imagination, you know. But I thank y'all again. I can't thank y'all enough. Y'all have shown me so much love and support. And I'm only here to help uplift humanity, uplift uh, human beings, uh, and just spread the love. Spread the love, the light, the truth, and the way, baby. Because that is what leads to wisdom when we're sharing the truth when we're sharing our light with each other then we can light up the world light up the earth right we can ascend to a higher dimension and that's what this is about ascending off a of low vibration you no know, things into high vibrational things or thoughts right because thoughts become things oh we ain't gonna go there that's another whole lesson i can teach y'all okay but uh thank you so much for watching that is comedic arts 2020 at gmail.com make sure when you pay your 150 dollars you send me an email so i know what you're paying for and who you are so i can group the the messages together and send the the login for zoom okay i don't want to miss nobody on that end okay um i'm very respectful you know and with people paying for i want to make sure you get okay uh, just one payment, $150, uh, that's $12.50 a class. I used to drop, do drop-ins for $10, you know, so it's still cheap. When you think of personal trainers and doing it personally, you're like $50 to $60, $70, $80 an hour. So that's a steal for these classes. It's only $12.50 a class, and we waste on food and movies and entertainment and clubbing and alcohol more money than that, So or in, in Starbucks coffee. We spending more than that. Okay, so this is about your health. This is about using this time wisely and getting back in line and in sync with our health, you know, mentally, you know, physically, emotionally, getting our mindset balanced and right. So we can go into this, this, whatever this mess is, this chaotic form, it, we can use it for our benefit. We can use it to elevate ourselves. And that's what I'm trying to get a lot of people to see. Take it advantage of it because you'll be glad you did and it only takes 14 
14 days, 21, 14, 21 days to, to, to break a habit and start another habit. Because all you got to do to break a habit is replace it with a good habit. Break a bad habit, start a good habit. And in 14 days before the month is out, you've been done, got yourself, like your whole mindset will be just around what? Health, fitness, eating right, you know, juicing, eating, putting healthy things, breaking that fast food addiction, breaking that sugar addiction. You'll start just, it'll, you'll just start rolling with the energy, baby, rolling with the punches, rolling with the punches, okay? So I wish y'all the best on your journey. I, may y'all have success and abundance for this 2020 year. Uh, if you want a personal reading, I got that stuff down there below. We can do a personal reading or you can just look at my readings or whatever. And, you know, if you want to leave a donation, if it touches you and it helps you and enlightens you and lifts you up, you know, feel free to leave me a donation. I appreciate you in advance. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all y'all. And uh, may your creators bless you. Hotel. Peace, love, and harmony. Your girl got you.